This is the first part in a series that will focus on the basics of SOLIDWORKS modeling. In this video, sketch lines will be covered. There are two types of lines that can be created. The first is the basic sketch line. This line is a solid line that you'd use to create shapes that are needed for features. The second type of line are center lines. Center lines are used when creating revolved features. If a center line is put as the center of revolution, you are able to put in diameter values when dimensioning the sketch. To do this, select Smart Dimension and click a sketch line. Next, click the center line and finally bring your cursor to the other side of the center line and click. When making the revolve feature, as long as there is only one center line, it will automatically pick up on that line as the center of rotation. These center lines fill another purpose as well, which is to create construction geometry. Anything that is for construction won't be used when creating features. To make center lines, the center line tool can be selected from the sketch entity drop down in the command manager. Another way to make this type of line is with the sketch line tool selected. Check the box named for construction in the property manager on the left of the screen. If the line has already been created, just click the line and select the For Construction box in the Property Manager or select the icon in the Context Toolbar that appears as well. When creating a line, there are a number of different options that can be changed in the Property Manager. You can select the orientation so that your line is already at a certain angle when you're sketching. Another option that was mentioned before is the ability to create lines for construction by selecting the box under Options. Finally, it is possible to create a line of infinite length, which can be useful when you are not sure how large your part will be, and it can be trimmed to size later if necessary. A tip when using sketch lines is you can switch to a tangent arc after creating a line by holding your cursor over the endpoint. This will switch to a tangent arc sketch entity. Once the click is made to create the arc, it will switch back to the line tool. This can really speed up sketching as there is no need to have to toggle between the sketch entities in the command manager. With the default keyboard settings, you can toggle between line and tangent arc by pressing the A key and activate the line tool by pressing L. A final tip when creating lines is that double clicking or pressing the escape key will cancel the current line that is being drawn. I hope this is helpful.